Hey guys, uh, Sam here. Welcome to another video on uh, AWS Learning Series. We are going to talk about uh, AMI here. And AMI, it stands for uh, Amazon Machine Image. So AMI provides the information required to launch an EC2 instance, which is a virtual server uh, in the cloud. You specify an AMI when you launch an instance and uh, you can launch as many uh, instances from AMI as you need. You can also launch instances from as many different AMIs as you need. So what is an AMI? It's a template from which uh, you uh, launch uh, different uh, you know, numbers of uh, instances, EC2 instances. So, so think of uh, that as you know blueprint which holds uh, different things. And what does this template holds or what does this AMI contain? It contains the following. It, ha it is a, you know, uh, it contains a template for the root volume for the instance, for example, an operating system. It might include uh, an application server and, uh, you know, applications. It also contains launch permissions that control which AWS accounts can use the AMI to launch instances. It also contains a block device mapping that specifies the volume volumes to attach to the instance when it is launched. So if you remember uh, when we were you know trying to create EC2 instance for the first time uh, on the very first screen uh, we were uh, given an option to choose AMI. You can uh, select uh, AMI based on region, uh, OS flavors, architecture whether it is you know 32 bit or 62, uh, 64 bit and so on. So let me you know show you the whole thing in uh, the AWS console. Uh, here I am uh, in, in the console. Let me go to EC2. So let's uh, go ahead and you know try to create an instance, EC2 instance. So if you remember, this is the very first screen which you will be seeing. Uh, it says uh, choose an Amazon uh, machine image, an AMI. And uh, here it says an AMI is a template that contains uh, the software configuration. Can be operate operating system, can be you know application servers and the applications required to launch uh, your instance. You can select uh, an AMI provided by AWS, our users community or the AWS marketplace or you can select one of your own uh, AMIs. So my AMIs will be listed over here. Uh, Amazon uh, marketplace AMIs will be you know visible here. You will have to you know uh, um, pay some fees for that. I mean, uh, uh, that's what uh, AWS Marketplace is uh, all about. And community AMIs, uh, you have you know plenty of them. Uh, you have uh, tons of it. And if you remember, uh, this is how you'll be you know uh, selecting the operating systems from the community uh, contributions. I mean, community images. You have the options to you know uh, select between these many. Uh, you have uh, an option to you know select the architecture, and uh, you can also select the root device type. Let me quickly go back to my uh, console, EC2 console. And uh, let's see uh, the instance which I have. Okay, this is the instance I am having. So here I can, you know, click on uh, actions and then go to image. I can click on create instance. I can name the instance as uh, RHEL image. I'm gonna say the image description as a demo. So if I click on you know no uh, reboot, um, uh, the EC2 instance it it will not be you know uh, uh, rebooted. But when this option is used, file system integrity on the created image cannot be guaranteed. So it's essential that uh, you click on this and. Uh, that way you can get a perfect uh, image amazon machine image i'm gonna you know leave this um, uh, as blank as of now and i have the option to you know uh, select the uh, or change the size of the root volume i can you know change the type of the volume as well i can uh, you know select uh, you know gp2 or uh, iu1 or even magnetic which is uh, uh, a standard uh, option the memory or a volume option and uh, i have this option delete on termination i have a uh, uh, encryption options as well but uh, since this is the root volume I have I have no option to you know encrypt it and if I want to create uh, uh, you know multiple uh, volumes or add uh, multiple volumes I do have the provision as well I'm gonna click on you know create image and then it's gonna you know take a couple of uh, minutes so let's uh, let's let's wait for you know some time give it a second uh, it depends upon your uh, you know uh, file size I mean uh, the storage and uh, here it is I could uh, see it 
uh, it's available and if i want i can you know launch an ec2 instance from it i can you know uh, order for a uh, support instance based on that ami i can uh, register a new ami i can copy this emi ami i can modify the image permissions i can add uh, or edit tags i can even modify the boot volume setting so that that's how you do it guys and yeah uh, this is how you'll be you know uh, making it public or uh, private so if i want to you know uh, uh, make it as you know public i can i can do it and i can uh, save it if i want to share it with the aws uh, any other aws account i can do it i just need the you know aws account number with which i am you know planning to uh, share this uh, uh, ami with so that's all for uh, the uh, session guys feel free to you know let us know in case if you have any uh, questions or queries and i'll see you in the next one